how to do a live check of where you have the most and least stock. Instantly check where any product's currently ranking for any of its keywords. Check how many of your sales are organic sales and how many of them are from ads. Easily see your total ACoS, TACoS in real time and check every other business metric over any time frame. That's exactly what I'm going to be sharing with you on screen today. So let's head over to Sellerizer's brand new Dashboard Pro. And this is not just any dashboard. I'm going to show you exactly why. Within Sellerize here, you'll remember the keyword research tools down here, but we're actually going to Dashboard Pro at the top. And you're going to see this. It gives you a snapshot of your live sales. So what's currently happening? You can see up to the end of the blue line. That's where we are currently. That's live. And then yesterday is shown here. Now that's all of yesterday. However, you can also compare yesterday to today at any point on this graph. As you can see, if I move towards the end of the blue line, we can see yesterday sales at the same time of day, slightly lower than today. And that's why over here, live sales, it actually tells you the difference between yesterday and today. Not only that, you can choose literally any of these metrics to compare. For example, we could select live FBA fees to see differences or live cost of goods sold. You can also see all the reimbursements you have made. And that was another recent video with Salarize and your last payout. Now here we've just compared to yesterday, but you can actually select any day. So we could select the 4th of July and see a comparison based on that. So you can literally choose any day and compare it to today. But scrolling down from here is where it gets really interesting. Now you can select any period you wish. We're going to do four weeks as an example here. And we're looking at trends on a daily time frame. Now these top three aren't that suited to this, but you can see here margin last four weeks and then compared to the previous four weeks. Or you could look at the last week, last seven days compared to the seven days before that. In blue, we see the most recent period and in light gray, the period preceding that. And so you can find differences in any metric. You can see FBA fees, cost of goods sold. And importantly, at the top here, you can click multi view. What this allows you to do is say you want to know why your margin went down at this point on one of those periods. Well, you can see as you track, it shows that same date, but for the other metrics on the other graphs. So that is multi view. And this entire dashboard is configurable. So we can come up here and click edit overview. And when we do that, we can like delete any graph that we don't want to see. Let's say we wanted to delete margin. That way we're going to have FBA fees, COGS and refunds on one line. We can do that and you can also move these around. So you just drag and drop and it's going to move the graphs of your choice around here. Once you made any changes, click done. And then of course we could again just turn on multi view to see like the difference between these three aspects specifically. Now I've personally just put these three at the top, but you could have anything here. This one is really interesting. It shows you where you have the most stock and least stock throughout the FBA performance centers. And so you can actually track that. Now, of course, this can be used for inventory management, making sure you stay in stock, but also maybe you aren't seeing your product show up when searching a certain part of the US. I often get questions on this, like why is my product not showing? And I often tell people you need to ensure that you're using not only a West Coast address, but an East Coast address. The reason for that is because your stock is in different warehouses around the US. If there's not that much stock in one area of the US, Amazon may not push your results. It might not show it because it cannot be fulfilled there economically or efficiently. And so this is going to allow you to see based on stock levels, what customer addresses are actually going to return your results properly. And this graph called keyword tracker is really useful. This is going to tell you for any of your products where it is organically ranking for its keywords. So we could, for example, select the projector for kids, all the projector keywords and where it's currently ranking. So 130th plus 17 positions. You can see this is currently on all time. 
so where it's moved. This one, for example, we've lost some positioning. And so it's a very easy way for you to check rather than going and typing in all your product's keywords to find where you're organically ranking. Something I almost forgot to mention here, on any of your keywords in here, you can also click on the specific keyword. It's gonna give you a detailed view of how that specific keyword is performing. For that keyword, it tells you, number one, your organic listings position, but also your ad position. You can also just click that product and deselect it. It's gonna show you all the others and of course you can click the plus and select any others. This first graph really simple. Last four weeks, sales in blue, net profit in green, and you can track the days. But you can add many more charts here. Click add chart. Now here you can actually search through these, but let's for example, just add sales by clicking the plus icon on any chart. So now it's added, it's gonna be at the bottom of our dashboard. We could also add net profit separately. Then when we click off of this at the bottom, we're gonna find that sales net profit. Since we have multi-view turned on still, we can actually check the differences there as well. Now, some of the charts I think you're gonna find the most valuable is TACOS, that is total advertising cost of sales. It's saying out of all the sales you make on Amazon, sponsored, organic, how much as a percentage of overall revenue are you spending on ads? As important as ACOS, in fact, more important than normal ACOS. So we can track that. Also organic units. Now what this is telling you versus advertising units is how many of your sales are from ads? How many are from your organic listing? And that's a great snapshot to have in any case. However, what we can also do is click this plus icon. Let's say for any of these charts, we wanna look at a specific product set configuration. First of all, you can actually look at this via SKU ASIN or parent ASIN, but we'll keep it on SKU. Let's take a look at our whiskey decanter. Say we wanna know how many units are coming through advertising for that specific product we recently launched. We can select that. Now it's gonna tell us specifically only for that product. And of course you can do that for any of your products here and on any of the other charts. You can also create a four metric chart here. Click add chart and you're going to wanna find this first one. It's always at the top here. Click the plus icon. I'm just gonna place that at the top here. Click done and here we can actually click the settings icon. Now we already have sales and net profit, but you can select two others. For example, a popular one here is gonna be advertising cost. I think another really cool one is advertising units percentage. So the percentage of your sales coming through ads. Of course, the lower, the better. Then click save. So now we have all four metrics shown here and let's say you see a discrepancy in net profit. Well, now you can evaluate those other metrics you've selected. Lastly, you can create presets for the entire dashboard. So let's say you want to have all these metrics and charts for each of your products. You can create a preset for each. At the top here, finance overview, click create preset. In this case, I'll do it for a product, projector for kids and create. Now you have a blank slate. So again, you can add any chart, click add chart, add those. And then once you've added all of them, you can select specific products. So here, of course, we're gonna select our projector and we can have all those charts specifically for the projector and track that. And then we can create more presets for each of our products. Now we have our finance overview here. We can also click to our preset for that specific product. We can add more for our others. You can also delete any preset by clicking the X here. But guys, that's a quick overview of Salarize's new Dashboard Pro. As far as dashboards go, which a lot of people find kind of boring, I think this is an excellent addition to their tool suite. Remember, they've got tons more tools in there, and I will drop a link below if you do want to go check it out. If you did enjoy this one, a like is always appreciated. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.